We're going to have a look at the configuration of the ESDM now. So what we'll do is we'll select one of the challenges. At any time, if we're unsure, we can actually have a look at this video on the internet from this address, if we'd click on it. But we'll start up. And what we should see is the main ASDM screen. And behind it, we have our good old PIX ASA uh, CLI interface. So in this example, we're going to set up the host name and the domain name. So we do that from device administration, and in this case, the host name is Paris, and our domain name is at home.com. So we should be able to go back and have a look at our main screen again. We can see Paris and at home is defined there. So now what we'll do is we'll go and configure the interface. So in this case we'll select E0, edit, and our interface comes up. So we set up its name, and its name is Maryland in this case. We set up the security level, which is 28. We set up its IP address, which in this case is this, 6.9. We can enable it. It's equivalent to the no shutdown. And we can allocate its IP address, 128.0. And we've obviously made a little mistake here. It's quite easy to go back and update it. So all we really need now is our description, and and that's it. So it generates a new set of parameters for us. And if we want, we can actually have a look at the running config at any at any time. So in this case, we'll have another quick look, and we'll we'll configure it again, and we can actually see what's in the running config at any given time. Here we are. So what we'll do is we'll just give it some simple name. Just a test, test com and then we can go here so we can see here already our CLI has changed the test because we changed the host name and we should be able to see that the domain name is also set for test.com so whatever we do in the Windows interface automatically reflects the the configuration of the picks